Hello everyone, this is a video I can make quickly and it actually has useful for my channel. So, one of the things that I have today is the following. The new item, or updated item, Steris Gauge came along. Now I'm looking at the camera, it looks like I'm fucking leafy trying to hide his chin. So the main point of this video today is to test out the new Steris Gauge and see how useful it is. Now, the incident I think of Steris Gauge, I think about is Darius. Why do I think about Darius? Well, this should explain everything. So, for the point of this video, I'm going to get into game, play a game with Darius, hopefully not versing El Evelyn again, and go from there. Now, the question is, when do I get it? Should have got like a drink or something. Oh yeah, here it is. <sighs> That's a 64 ounce jug. While everybody's picking that, I'm picking this. Regret opposing me. What the f fuck is this okay thank christ so the point of this is to build black cleaver uh whatever boots i need and then the, instead of getting straight dead mans right away i'm gonna grab a sterix or or grab black cleaver dead man and then sterix well that's the plan anyway wait i'm versing another darius how just just how <laughs> the first time i finally played darius in like a month and a half and the next thing you know i'm versing a fucking clone holy shit so the main thing to do here, I either need to out-damage the other Darius, or I need to out-tank him. So, I'm going with this. Just because, just because, the bleed also procs from my, uh, from my passive. So, if you ever reverse a Darius, and you're, you're someone like Galio or something, you could build a Dorn Shield, and it's still gonna be useful. Because if you build, like, flat damage, he's gonna outscale you with the damage anyway, especially if he gets 5 stacks. So, that's something to worry about. And I'm glad I got Fur for a battle, because he also has it as well. And, uh, if he hits me with more damage than I could, you know, do the same too, he's gonna fucking murder me. Now, he used a potion and I didn't, so this is perfect. You can always tell what Darius is planning based on how he's trading. If he's trying to trade with you all the time, then he's n obviously not trying to focus on, uh, stuff at hand. And he's obviously not respecting my damage. Oh, and he got the wrong one. And that's how you tell the difference. He thought getting a Dorn's Blade would be the most useful against me, but nope. Dorn's Shield always wins. With Dorn's Shield, you could tank the majority of his uh, bleed. Now I'm doing here, I'm gonna get Boots. And as for as long as I get my passive first, the five stacks, he's going to die every time. Unless out of nowhere he gets like level six and just dunks me at the last second. And there we go. This isn't really even a game where you probably build Steric Gauge. Well, granted, the evolution of Janna. Even so, you don't really build Steric Gauge into this. But you know what? For the video, I'll do it anyway. Eva's just sitting here bot lane. Okay, that explains why. Uh, that explains everything. She's now 0 and 3, and me and Zaya have 5 kills. Oh, I could duel him right now if I wanted to. Oh, you missed your thing. You're fucking dead. Now, the sad part is, Evelyn could have just roamed up here top and just murdered the shit out of me. She's too busy trying to go through bot lane, trying to get ganks. Or whatever she's doing. She's level 2 right now. I'm just doing the best I can to see that a clone matchup is an automatic win for me. Because if you're in a clone matchup, and unless you really play the sh outplay the shit out of them... You're not going to beat that person. 100%. He doesn't have ult yet. Ha! He wasted flash. Why'd you do that? You just dragged me closer to you. I'm not even going to use my ult. I'm just going to walk away. When you have something like that, and if you saw me beforehand trying to, uh... If you saw me beforehand waiting for the bleed to kill him, he won a burning flash in the process. And he didn't realize he was going to die from it. So, doing things like that, where you get make him burn a summoner spell, is always worth. Because now we couldn't flash away. Our team is just snowballing out of control. Because this Evelyn is fucking stupid. I could probably just keep autoing this guy and I'll still get the kill. I have boots and he doesn't.
Yep, seems about right. Six and zero. All right, next item. Since I'm so far ahead, I can just go for Sterics Gauge immediately. I'm three levels ahead of you, man. I don't even want to fight you. Yep, this Evelyn just obviously doesn't know what she's doing. Now, what's the new Sterics Gauge item? You could probably build it as a second item on people like Darius, especially if you expected to do early team fights. Maybe you're playing someone like Shivana. You want some extra tenacity for when you deal with high CC champions like Galio, Nautilus. Because the main thing with this item was to help Juggernauts for when they get like dead bands and stuff, but it was al almost worthless because it was used more on like Juggernaut Vein than it was on like Darius for in instance, which is really sad when you think about it. Kind of like now Targons is built more on ADCs than they are supports or Ancient Corn is now built on basically anything and it could be a support. That's like the main issue I had with it, but hopefully now with this change, I'll be able to make use of it. I actually want to get this game done as soon as possible because I just want to take a shit. Who knows, maybe the next video I make is the analysis on Darius. I wanted to do that for the longest time, but I haven't really got a chance to, so... Maybe when I have the spare time now, I'll be able to do something like that. Holy shit. That's, uh... That's some damage. I died for you. <laughs> Let's see, 50 base damage, 53 base attack damage. That's actually really good. This gives more than Black Cleaver right now. Yeah, Black Cleaver only gives 40. And this gives me 53. That, yeah, you could bet. You could definitely build a Sterics Gauge for when you have a bunch of. They have a bunch of CC, but their main damage is like. I don't even know. Maybe. Uh, that was such a waste. I can see how it will work, but the question is, it's actually useful. Fuck. I lost almost no health from that. I only lost health from the tower. Aw, I want a Rift Hall to be alive. Alright. I died a few times in the end, but still pretty good. Let's see my damage, because I'm actually curious. Then again, I've only been versing Darius, and then I got shit on by four people jumping on me. Now, unfortunately, with this, you'll still have the same problem with uh, every Juggernaut, where you just get jump on, you have no escape. But, at least for when you're in the thick of things, you have something to help out with, with uh, new sterics. Yeah, Zaya is just... Pff, ridiculous. Let's crank have more damage in Nocturne. That's pretty funny. And I got shot calling. Cool. Well, guys, it's a video. A little bit quick one. Let me know in the comments what's more efficient, what's a lot better to know about. New Evelyn or Sterics Gauge, because I kind of did both this, this video. Anyway, I'm the strategist. Thanks for letting me share my knowledge. And uh, time to dunk some people. Bye-bye.